Hello, and welcome to Metro Arts. I am your host, Rachel Simone. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, dancers from the Detroit Tap Repertory are here to perform. We'll learn about the NOAA Project and the Art and Soul Initiative, plus rock band Cosmic Light Shapes will illuminate our studio. We'd like to welcome dance instructor and choreographer Kelsey Rose Young to our Midtown studio at Wayne State. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so Kelsey, tell me about the inception of the Detroit Tap Repertory. So the Detroit Tap Repertory was actually founded by Miss Denise Caston, and she started the company after she moved back from New York after being a Radio City Rockette. And um, I joined a year after the company had started. And uh, she moved back to New York about two years ago, and that's when I took over the company. So what's the goal of DTR? Our goal is to kind of bring the TAP community of Michigan together. Um, we actually have a few members that are from Ohio, and we have members that come from all over Michigan. And it's kind of a place um, where everyone can let loose and have fun and just share our love for TAP. Now, how long has the company been performing? Our company's been around for eight years, um, and we've been performing for eight years. And uh, this year, we've actually started to get even more shows and kind of branching out of our comfort zone a little bit, um, doing different events. So can you tell me how many members do you guys have, and then the, talk about the different skills and talent levels that you have. So. The DTR um, started out as a small ensemble of about eight members, and now it's grown into over 50 members. And we have three different levels. We have our mini company, which is eight and under. We have our junior company, which is nine to 13. And we have our pre-professional level, which is 14 and up. And um, all together, we have about 50 members that range all different ages. We have one girl who's four years old, and we have another woman who is about in her 40s, so we try to um, range the ages for everyone. Now, I know you've performed all over the US, so what's been your favorite place so far? Hmm. Well, um, New York is always one of our favorites. We've been performing there every year for the Big Apple Tap Festival, and um, this past year, we actually performed at the Alvin Ailey Theater, and Savion Glover made an appearance, which he's one of our idols. And um, another place is actually Arizona, which we, I've been doing every year, and we just went this past year, and we took about seven or eight members, and um, it was great just to experience learning from different choreographers on the other side of the country, and also dancing with different dancers over there. Now, I was told that you were on my favorite show, So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> Tell me about that experience. So You Think You Can Dance was an amazing experience. Um, it was great just to meet dancers from all over the country. Uh, we did pretty much everything together, especially when we got into Vegas, and um, it was long days. But uh, it was a great experience to meet the judges, and Paula Abdul, she's always been one of my idols, and Jason Derulo, and um, just to get their feedback and to have them watch me perform on stage was a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna see a performance from you all today. Um, tell us about the inspiration behind the performance. So the piece we're doing today is actually a Motown medley um, I put the mix together myself and we all choreographed it and it was a piece in our repertoire last year that we performed at the Motor City Tap Festival which um, Denise is also the founder and director of that and um, we performed it at the participant showcase and everyone loved it. It's a crowd pleaser so we um, kept it in our repertoire for this year. And how can people find out more about DTR? You can find more about our company um, on all of our social media. We have Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And um, you can also email me at KelseyRoseRocks at Yahoo.com. And I would be glad to give you more information. Hey, well, Kelsey, thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> thank you. Now performing a Motown review, here's the Detroit Tap Repertory. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. What we're going to do right here is go back, way back, back into time. Hitsville. It started here 25 years ago, the sound that rocked the world. Hitsville became Motown, and Motown became a part of our lives. <laughs>
became Motown, and Motown became a part of our lives. Wow. We'd like to welcome the members of Art and Soul to Metro Arts. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's our pleasure. So just to get started, can everyone introduce themselves? I'm Tawana Odom, a.k.a. Mrs. Dash. I'm Denise Dotson, a.k.a. Diva D. I'm Susan Bre Greenhall, Art and Soul Coordinator. I'm Amy Brown, the Executive Director of the NOAA Project. Now, before we talk about Art and Soul, Amy, tell us about the NOAA Project. So the NOAA Project is a community and bag lunch program that's operated out of Central United Methodist Church. We've been around since 1976 and offer a bag lunch four days a week, uh, Monday through Thursday, where in 2015 we fed over 38,000 individuals lunch. And in addition to the bag lunch, we offer a community center with a lot of different programs. One of those programs is Art and Soul. But then in addition to some of the programs we offer, we offer one-on-one -on -one casework services, meeting with nurses, serve as a mailing address for over 400 individuals, just a lot of different basic needs for individuals that are low-income and homeless. Our primary mission is to uh, empower individuals that are low-income and homeless to achieve uh, self-sufficiency. Now, Art and Soul opened six and a half years mm -hmm. ago at Central United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's been so successful? Because it gives uh, those homeless on the street or, or those in need in Detroit a place to come that's just a safe, enjoyable, in, inviting, uh, creative place for them to just come in and uh, express themselves creatively. We are a mission outreach from the Birmingham United Methodist Church, and our mission statement is to instill dignity, pride, and purpose in the homeless through and those in need in Detroit through self-expressive art. So we give them, we have a, a full studio of all sorts of art supplies. They can do all kinds of painting, drawing, any kind of uh, craft projects that they uh, can think of. Uh, we have jewelry making and we have uh, uh, sewing, if anybody wants to learn that, knitting, crocheting, anything anybody wants to do, we will get them the materials for it. Whatever they produce in the studio, it's theirs to keep. They can take it with them. They can give it away. They can sell it. They can you know, do whatever. We like to do a couple shows a year where they can showcase their artwork. They can meet the public and they can sell their work and, and make a little extra money. We have uh, we had a grant a few years ago where we were able to coordinate with a, a professional artist and we did a full-size wall mural, mosaic wall mural at Crest Guy Institute in the pediatric waiting room. And the <clears throat> professional artist that we coordinated with was were able to come, she was able to come in and show our folks how to do everything from the sketch, the original, they came up with the original ideas she showed them how to uh, mold the clay and glaze the clay, and then we installed it, and then we had a big grand opening. So we've done lots of exciting things like that. Great. Now we have two artists here with their artwork. So Tawana, talk about your piece for me. Well, my piece uh, entitled Love, as you can well see, um, I just feel like love is in the air all around. You know, a lot of the things that I've learned at Art and Soul, I've taken back to my community. I do a, a bag lunch in the summer for the kids as well. And I also am very uh, active in my block club um, when the holidays come around. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be asked to do arts and crafts at that as well. Okay. 
And Diva D. Yes. Tell me about your piece. Okay, well, my piece is called Amina. She is what I call a beautiful, confident woman. That's where I got my, my definition of Diva. Diva is a beautiful, confident woman. And that's what I strive to be every day. And in my opinion, she's quietly elegant and dazzling in her own quiet way, like anybody else would be. So as artists, how would you say Art and Soul has helped you? Oh, it was a lifesaver for me. I was one of the people who was homeless a few years ago. When um, I finally got an apartment, they helped me move. They took me to Ikea and bought me some furniture and others donated furniture to me and they've just been wonderful. I owe my life to them. And Tawanda? I too came to uh, Central uh, seeking the services of Noah being homeless and since then I've uh, thrived. I've uh, started college. I'm going to school to become a sign language interpreter. Okay, great. And how can people find out more about Art and Soul? So we encourage people to visit uh, the NOAA Project's website, which is noahprojectdetroit.org, and there you can find information about how to contact the NOAA Project, but then also how to contact Art and Soul and to get involved with both of these amazing programs. And Art and Soul does have an, a website, Art and Soul Detroit. Okay, thank you ladies so much for being here. Thank You're you. watching Metro Arts, produced at Wayne State University. Up next, here's Cosmic Light Shapes on Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. Thank you. 
Welcome to Metro Arts. Now that was a great performance we just saw. Now Cosmic Light Shapes, tell me about the name. Well the name actually came from a light show I used to do. It was called Cosmic Light Shapes Nebula. And then when I was looking for a band name to fit this band, I thought, hey, how about just Cosmic Light Shapes? And our first record's gonna be called Nebula, so it all fits in. So it came from a light show, actually. So tell me a little bit about the band. How did you all meet? Well, I've known Zanez here for a number of years, and we always talked about jamming together. So just after talking about it, we decided to finally do it. We made it happen. And then Adam joined us on bass a few years back, and he's, we're all great friends, hanging out all the time. So Now the band good. has a very unique sound. Can you describe it for us? Um, I like to refer to it as kind of like lo-fi, like space transistor radio rock. <laughs> now you're from Hamtramck, so what is it like being a part of the music scene here in Detroit? Oh, it's really fantastic, just in the whole metropolitan Detroit area. Um, there's so many great bands. We have such a wide history and rich history of great music from, you know, cross genres all throughout this town. And so we're just really cool and, or, or you know, happy to be a part of it, and it's really cool. So what's some of the inspiration behind your music? Um, you know, we just kind of like get a riff going. We jam a little bit. We talk about it and just let it happen naturally. Sometimes words just pop in. Sometimes vibes just pop in and we go for it. It's like just throwing paint at a canvas. We just like to see what kind of drips around and what we can move around and about in terms of vocals and you know the sounds and everything. Now the next song that we're going to hear is Far From Home. Correct. Um, explain that song to me. Well, that song is about a uh, road trip of sorts. It doesn't have to be by car. And how can people find out more about the band? Uh, then go to uh, Cosmic Light Shapes at bandcap.com. We have a website there. Or you can just search for us online and we're out there. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Once again, here's Cosmic Light Shapes on Metro Arts, produced at Wayne State University.
hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests from the Detroit Tap Repertory, the Art and Soul Project, and Cosmic Light Shapes for being here today. Remember, you can catch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com and find us on social media. I'm your host on Metro Arts, Rachel Simone, reminding you to always remain open and embrace the arts in your community. Thank you.